Hey, Roger Casey again with Burgess. I want to talk a little bit about glass today. Glass can be beautiful, but also very dangerous uh, if it's not addressed in the right fashion. So the code addresses uh, hazardous locations for glass, and it specifically identifies seven of those. So uh, we want to talk about one of those locations today, and that is any window, any glass glazing adjacent to doors. So that's R308.4.2. Uh, we want to start with a baseline because that helps us in determining what needs to happen with the glass, uh, whether we need safety glazing or not. So let's start over here on the left side. This will help us determine the proximity to a door and when we need to address the glazing. If that window is less than 60 inches from the floor or walking surface and both conditions have to be met and within 24 inches of a door. So both are the qualifiers. That's our baseline, consistent amongst the code version. So we always start there. Now let's create a little bit of a history to understand where we came from and how we got to where we are. In the 2012, it was pretty open-ended. So that window scenario, that glazing scenario, if it was on either side of the door and at any angle, then it required uh, safety glazing in some fashion, tempered glass, uh, a safety bar, etc. Um, the only exception in the 2012 where it was not required was on the latch side of a perpendicular wall. So look down here to the diagram. If you've got any window in the plane of the door, you can see these green check marks, then yes, that is required uh, to be addressed as a hazardous location, including any angled wall. And the dotted lines here. The only exclusion was a perpendicular wall on the latch side of the door swing. So that's what the 2012 addressed as not needing any kind of safety glazing. Now let's jump to the 2015, see what change occurred there. The 2015, same plane, either side of the door, and on a perpendicular wall. We lost the angle part, so the 2015 kind of made a bit of an error, and it gets corrected later on. So that scenario only applies, though, if it's on the hinge side of the door and the door swings towards the glass. The concern here is someone being pushed into the glass by someone entering the door on the other side. So in this scenario, same plane, we've got consistency there, either side of the door, less than 60 inches from the floor and within 24 inches of the door, we've got a hazardous location, all right? And the perpendicular wall, that's the only language the 2015 specified was this perpendicular wall. So kind of a slip up. Now let's jump to the 2018 and see how they corrected it. The 2018, you'll see it's on the same plane, so consistent with the 15. Um, here's where the change occurred. If it is less than 180 degrees off of that same plane, so at any angle now, now they're picking that up as long as it's on the hinge side of the door and the door swings towards the glass. So again, in the same plane, either side of the door, yes, green check marks is a hazardous location. We need to address that glass. Any angle now, so this is where the 180 degrees comes into play. Any angle on the hinge side of the door, that's a hazardous location. We'll have to address the glazing in that area. Conversely, over here, any angle that falls outside of that same plane is not a hazardous location and the safety glazing doesn't need to be addressed. One of the very few exceptions um, is decorative glazing, as you'll see up here, leaded glass, stained glass, etc. Uh, that is not required to be addressed from a safety standpoint. We're going to be touching on several more areas. I mentioned there were seven, so we'll talk about next to wet surfaces and stairs and landings and so forth. So stay tuned.